Hey there, Hero. It's David H. Lawrence, the 17th, and I have some uh, really important news. It's bad news, and it's meant for Macintosh users, and it's meant for Macintosh users who have a new Mac and have been forced to use the operating system uh, Catalina, which is brand new, uh, just released earlier in September. As we record this video in the beginning of November, sort of middle-ish beginning of November, Catalina is a fairly brand new operating system, and it's a revolutionary operating system along the lines of the jump, if you remember way back in the day, from System 6 to System 7, or the jump from System 9 to System 10, which then became Mac OS 10 and all of the uh, subversions of that. Um, the last few versions have been warning you that Catalina is going to be a huge, huge change. And it's a fundamental change. It's called a 64-bit operating system. And without getting too complicated, most of the software that hasn't been updated to operate under the 64-bit system won't work. It simply won't work. Uh, very similar to what happened with System 6 to System 7, System 6 software that wasn't updated, wouldn't work with System 7, and so on. And one of the biggest ones is, unfortunately, Audacity. Audacity has not yet been upgraded to Catalina. There is a workaround that if you're really technically savvy, you can take care of, but it involves the terminal app and it involves restarting from the terminal app if you ever quit Audacity. It's not a pretty thing. I'm actually dealing with it downstairs in my new setup. Um, I'm, I'm setting up a, a, a new space using the upgrade that I talked to you about before of the camera and the system and all that sort of thing. And I got the new Mac Mini because the MacBook is no longer being produced and the new Mac Mini uh, is Catalina. And so I've been dealing over the last couple of days. I thought I was gonna be up and running pretty quickly. And I knew that Audacity didn't work with Catalina, but I had no idea of all of the other pieces of software that I rely on on a fairly regular basis that don't work on Catalina or to work really poorly or work with all these workarounds. So the point of this video is, I know that many of the people in my tribe use Audacity. And before you think to yourself, I knew I should have used Pro Tools. Well, Pro Tools isn't compatible with Catalina either. So my word to you, my message to you, and again, this is being recorded and released in early November 2019. So by the time you listen or watch this video to what I'm saying, this may have changed. But for right now, at least for the next six months to a year, Please do not upgrade, despite the Macintosh operating system exhorting you to on a fairly regular basis, do not upgrade to Catalina. You will not be able to use many of the pieces of software. You won't be able to use Audacity, as of now. You certainly won't be able to use Levelator, as of now, although I hear things that Levelator is being repackaged and we'll, we'll keep you up to date on that. But the point is, if you have Mojave, or if you have El Capitan, or if you have um, uh, Leopard, Snow Leopard, anything below Catalina, stay there. Don't go to Catalina. I can't make it any clearer for you. Jumping from 32-bit to 64-bit is going to put you in a world of hurt if you use any of the tools that most people use in the world of performance. So, having said all that, have you done that already and have had issues? Yeah. Um, I don't really know of a way to downgrade. Let me know in the comments below if you have that issue because I know that Max, uh, one of our coaches, is former Next and Apple employee, and he sometimes can work magic. So if you're already a, a member of our pro community, talk to Max about it in the Pro Connect section. But for those of you all around the world that are watching these videos, as of early November 2019, Please don't make the mistake of upgrading to macOS Catalina. It will ruin your day. That's all I have for you today. I appreciate you watching. Uh, I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. I thank you, and I will talk to you tomorrow.